Hi folks, it's Duke and Dice. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm not wearing a hat today. Mainly because i uh, kind of a serious note today. I really haven't had the best of day today. And I wasn't sure if I was even going to make a video because I was really upset. And um, before I get into that, I need to give you a little bit of background about me. If you haven't noticed, I have a speech impediment, and I was born with cerebral palsy. Basically, what that is is cerebral palsy is damage to the part of the brain that controls muscle function. And so I have, I walk with a limp. Um, my, my brain tells the muscles in my body to stay tight. They never loose it. They just stay constantly tight. So the way I walk, one, one leg is like this and the other is like this. So the reason being, I walk flat footed on this foot. But this one here, I walk tippy toe, and it's because the muscles in this leg are under a constant tension. I, even though I tell my brain to relax, they don't relax. So when I walk, I have to walk uh, tippy toe. Anyway, being disabled growing up, I got picked on quite a bit. In fact, uh, in third grade, I had no friends. None at all. I was constantly teased by a couple boys who would even follow me into the bathroom and kick me in my backside while I was using the bathroom. And it was very traumatizing. And throughout all of my school career, I was picked on at one time or another because of it. Um, all the way up until ninth grade, then when I started getting a little bit bigger and standing up for myself, that ended because people knew I wasn't going to put up with it anymore. And I, you know, I still get looks and stares and things like that. And, um, uh, it don't bother me like it used to, but what does bother me is whenever... People say something about my disability. Or if I hear someone else saying something else about someone else with a disability. And it's just not disability that I have an issue with. It's race. It's injustice. It's one sexuality. Uh, many things that I just can't stand. stand. And... Anymore nowadays, I don't really get that mad, but that's one thing that really gripes me a lot of times. And today I had an issue with a family member that something was said that I misunderstood. And I thought that they was, was making a racial comment about my son. Uh, my son is Native American. And... The way my relatives spoke, I took it to offense. And by the way, to that family member, I truly do apologize for anything I said. Uh, it, it, it just one of those things that hits me deep. One, because I was disabled. Two, because um, I have family members who are mixed race. My son is Native American, half white. My my brother is half Mexican, half white. And anytime I hear someone say something negative about people like that, I, I speak out. And sometimes things that come out of my mouth, I shouldn't say. I should learn to let some things go. And normally I do, except for that one thing. And lying is another one. I'm not a big fan of lying either. 
Um, we all lie. We're human, but still, you know, it 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 puts a seed of distrust in me when you do that. And how can I ever trust you again? You know what I mean? And uh, anyway, um, it. I don't know how to put it, but I really feel bad about going off on my relative like I did because he didn't deserve that. And it was my misunderstanding, and I hope he understands that. And we'll be talking soon. Hopefully we can get together and do something and even things out because part of it was my fault. But... Uh, you know, uh, growing up, I never let it really bother me, you know, the stares, the looks, then it wasn't a big thing, you know, when I got picked on, yeah, it bothered me, and like I said, those things stay with me, and uh, I, I, I'm sorry, it just, I, I'm baffled by, by the things people say and do, and sometimes I've been baffled by the things that come out of my mouth, but another thing I want to talk about is, I'm, I'm also kind of sad, not so much, I'm, I'm upset at myself for what I did, but I'm also mad because I broke my favorite co coffee cup today. Oh man, that really, oh, I was heading in here to make, make of my, my video for today to work on it and I forgot my coffee cup was on the tray that I have my computer on and as I was dragging it in here, the cup fell off, broke all over the floor. Ugh. It's things that, like that just make you go, ugh, you know. It, you have those things in life that make you happy, and that Chevy cup that I had made me really happy. And by the way, if you hop over to my uh, my Facebook page, Duger does. Yeah, I'll post a picture of it so you can see it. Um, it was a good cup. It was a really cool cup too because the bottom of it had a a rubber. Uh, membrane that went on the bottom of it that looked like a, uh, the wheel of a car and that's why I got it in the first place because I thought it was just so cool one because it was Chevy two because they had that wheel on it and now I don't have it anymore so I'm kind of bummed about that but that's okay I've got I got some others but it's still just kind of man broke my paper cut Damn, you know. <laughs> oh, well, you know, things like that are going to happen. You just got to move on from it. But I hope tomorrow is better. I really do. Uh, I don't know why I got up on the wrong side of the bed or what, but I. Maybe it's just everything's getting to me, being out of work, not seeing my son, um, worrying about my mom, worrying about my future. It just, all that's starting to pile up on me. And what's really going to be hard on me next week is my, um, my dad, uh, not only is it my dad's, birthday next month but it's also the the month that he died last year i lost my father a day after his 65th birthday uh he turned 65 on february 7th he was gone on february 8th and so that's been weighing heavily on my mind and I'll talk more about that when that day gets here, and um, I just, I'm not looking forward to it, you know, 
after the after this year, it'll get easier. It won't get out. Uh, it'll be easier, but but it won't go ever go away. But I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm not, and I know my stepmom's not, and I'm going to holler at her to see how she's doing and if she's going to be okay, but oh, I know we will. He's up there looking over us. Well, anyway, folks, I got to get going. I have some other things I need to do, so I'm glad you took the time to stop by and check out my video. And if you like what I talked about, give me a like. If not, give me a dislike. And whether you like it or not, give me a comment down in the bottom. And please subscribe to my channel. I, I would love to have you hang out with me. And folks, as always, do good and deuces. See you, folks.